Okay, so today's video is going to be on a TA Challenger and a Daytona Charger. So these are the newest Challenger and Charger models that Chrysler has released to us. The Charger is the newest of the Charger, sorry, the Daytona is the newest of the Charger models and the TA is the newest of the Challenger models. Now both of these are throwback cars, obviously. Um, they throw back to the 70s and the late 60s as well they're they're beautiful cars and personally the challenger really represents the classic 70 and the 71 72 73 challengers and so on the charger now is different obviously because well not necessarily because in the late 70s they had four-door chargers as well but really the ones that everybody remembers are the ones from 66 to 70 uh, those are my favorite chargers personally and I mean there are certain things that do represent of those classic cars there now obviously the side here I love how this beams up kind of like flat over here you kind of see it better from behind see it right there how it's almost flat I find that represents how the old chargers were um, now obviously these two the TA is a 392 and the charger is a 5.7 now the purpose of this video obviously a better comparison would be 392 to 392 but really the purpose of this video is to talk about the differences between the two and which one i personally like better and which one i would buy i'm not going to talk about the motors and how they perform or anything like that i've already done charger versus challenger videos this is now a video about whether i would get whether i like the throwback more on a ta or the throwback more on a daytona now to start, the TA wins. I'm just gonna throw it off on the bat. Now, the reason why it wins is it's simple. Hood pins like the classic TAs, blacked out hood like the classic TAs. The TA stripe is exactly the same as the classic TAs, okay? They both have matte, uh, matte black roofs, okay? You, you can get a sunroof in both of them, only the Charger has a sunroof on this one. Now, why the Charger loses is I'll tell you. There's one reason why. The most signature thing about a TA is the blacked out hood and the hood pins, in my opinion, and obviously the striping. Now this does have the striping on it. It does have the Daytona stripe on the back, which I will show you quickly here. See, it does have the Daytona stripe. Now, why does it lose? You're looking at it right now. This, this here, the spoiler is why it loses. Now, as stupid as it may sound, in my opinion, it's why it loses. The original Daytonas used to have a massive spoiler now I'm not asking them to put a huge spoiler on here but something a bit bigger than the traditional charger spoiler would have done it in my opinion that is really the most signature thing and obviously the front nose of the old Daytonas was another signature thing um, obviously the front nose I wouldn't really change much maybe they could have changed it up a little bit but I'm fine with this front end really though I think if they changed the spoiler it really would have brought back that throwback like the hood pins and the blacked out hood do on the TA so the Challenger wins in that in my opinion for that now as far as interior goes and they are a little bit different the interior on the TA has white stitching and uh, white I don't know if you can see their white TA lettering on the seats now that's pretty neat in my opinion there you can kind of see it now the white TA lettering this has now in gold the Daytona lettering and I think I've talked about this about how the Daytona is actually my favorite interior now the reason why is because I love gold stitching and I love how it looks with the suede they both have suede interiors now you don't have to get suede but they both come with it and personally the Daytona wins from the interior aspect of how they did it but on the outside the Challenger wins and in my opinion if it was a Hellcat you know like over here a Hellcat Challenger versus Charger the Challenger wins again in my opinion just because it looks a little more classy like the original ones and I'm a younger guy obviously I want to go with the two-door but there's nothing wrong with the Chargers at all I think they're beautiful cars as well and really as far as a throwback goes the TA wins without a doubt I would go 110% with the TA and I'll just do one quick last walk around these two cars so you can take a look at here I mean some of you might not agree with me but personally the TA is a job well done by Chrysler
but it is neat that they're still doing these throwback cars because they deserve it they're an iconic part of the brand and FCA in general Hey guys, this is Stipe Kronograk from Unique Chrysler. Comment down below if you have any other questions. Thanks.